Hi, year five students. I'm Kitty, and I'm going to explain you about sorting. Yeah. What is sorting? You see, this monkey, this monkey is really angry to see the super messy room. You see, you see, my room is so messy. I cannot stand this, okay? I want to find my shirt, but I cannot find it because it's super messy. Okay, so in this super messy room, when your room is in a super mess, you cannot find your shirt easily. Okay. Bling, 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 bling. Now, after I do a sorting magic, okay? Now the room is tidy and the monkey is happy. You see, after you sort the things in order, let's say one, two, three, four, five is in order, all become tidy and you can easily find your socks i mean it's not socks it's everything if you want to find a number or a data or something after you do sorting everything can be tidy and easily find so it means let's say five four nine three zero ten that one is not tidy, it's super messy. And after it's become tidy, it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's tidy. And you can easily find the number. I want to find the fifth number or the sixth number. Okay? Now, that is the purpose of sorting. What is sorting? An action? To keep things tidy and to be found easily. You guys got that? Nice! What is the purpose of data sorting? I didn't say your cupboard sorting. This one is what is the purpose of data sorting? Data can be tidy. Data can be found easily. And we are going to learn three types of algorithms to do searching. First one, insertion sort. The first thing you are going to learn deeply and selection sorts the third one is bubble sorts each method of sorts has their own plus and minus advantage and disadvantage okay guys see ya